Hello again, and we're back with Eleonora from the Eye of Jewelry to talk about other, another selection of uh, ladies' timepieces, but not jewelry timepieces. Well, I was still, still going to see a few stones on I it. I guess so. Um, the first uh, piece of the selection, and I've been hearing in the last weeks of month, friends call me like, "Oh, can you help me get a 5711 Patek Nutilis with the steel version and the black and the, and the blue dial?" I find it not boring, but everybody has it. I want to say that on the feminine side this year, they introduced a smoky dial from the actual Nautilus collection with just a line of diamonds on the bezel. But the fact that they actually enlarged the case, which is now a 36.8 millimeter, um, makes the piece super interesting because it's sporty, but very elegant and super DNA oriented from Patek. And it's brown, smoky brown, which really changes from the blue you can see, and it matches pretty much every skin. All right. Your second watch then. The second watch, I'm gonna go with Hublot. We've introduced, I mean, they've introduced last year the collaboration with Richard Orlinsky, who happens to be one of the most um, sold French artists worldwide, who designs this very cool um, animals that happens to be completely faceted, which is his signature. And using his technique and his signature, putting into his watch case, make, makes actually the case super eligible for um, diamond pavage. And the alternative setting where you have some parts that are actually set with diamonds and other that, that are not, complements the contrast between the dial, which happens to be faceted, the bezel and the actual case to have a sporty, classic, yet super feminine um, timepiece. It comes in uh, rose gold and the dial is is made of black ceramic that contrasts with the rubber bracelet. All right, so last uh, watch, and I know this one has indeed a few stones. Well, this one has indeed a few stones, but in a very different way that we're used to see it. You've probably heard of a new brand called Beauregard Genève. It's a Swiss brand, uh, Swiss-based brand, but the founder is actually based in Montreal. Mm -hmm. He fell in love with the fact of designing his own watch, and he's always been passionate about stones. So each piece is completely unique. You have a flying tourbillon under which um, you can see um, laser cut kind of rosas put on top of the actual movement, surrounded by a. Um, it could be a chakra. Um, it could be an actual flower, but each of the petals are completely hand engraved, hand cut, and each of the stones come from Tucson, Arizona. So you can actually a different palette from turquoise to malachite to pink opal, which is his latest discovery that he sourced uh, last February. It's a very um, creative and interesting way of working around stones and working around feminine timepieces because he focuses obviously on the whole high-end movement which is the ultimate thing that most drill of uh, watch collectors tend, tend, tend to like but each of them are unique so you can actually choose the color combination between the bracelet and the dye which makes it feminine but not too girly at the same time yeah absolutely well thank you very much for your selection and see you real soon